Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how you would reconstitute the research peptide GLOW and have it last five weeks. A lot of people get confused when it comes to reconstituting peptides that are blends because they're not sure with the total milligrams how everything works out, so I'm gonna simplify that for you. The most common GLOW blend that people get their hands on is the 50-10-10 blend. This is 50 milligrams GHKCU, 10 milligrams BBC, and 10 milligrams of TB500. If you're wondering what this site is behind me, I made a site to get you guys the best price on peptides. You can go check this out, the link in the bio. There's coupon codes and direct links for a bunch of peptides. These are all research peptides. So like I said, the most common dose we're gonna walk through today is 50, 10, 10. To reconstitute bigger peptides like this, you're always going to use about three milliliters of bacteriostatic water, anything over about 30 milligrams of peptide. The vials are pretty small, so they're not gonna be able to fit any more than that. So when you break this down total, it's going to be 70 milligrams of the peptide. We're going to use three milliliters of bacteriostatic water. If you want to get five weeks out of this peptide, you're going to use 12 units or 0.12 mLs of the peptide every time you draw. So daily, you're going to get two milligrams of GHK, 0.4 of BPC, and 0.4 of TB500. This is normally run as five days on, two days off. And right here, you can see that's going to be about 14 milligrams per week and that's gonna last you a total of five weeks. These peptides do go bad after about six to eight weeks due to bacteria buildup, so I would make sure to run that schedule. I hope that helped you guys out. Like I said, check out the link in my bio. You can use these codes and get great discounts.